it's like a dance in that you are moving and responding to your partner, but you're also trying to outsmart them and trying to hit them. You are competitive and collaborative. You've got to be able to just allow yourself to move with the situation, not get rattled. Part of the strategy is to set an expectation and then break that expectation. Our goal as a school is to excite people to realize something that's kind of epic and exciting inside of themselves and also put them on this path of really mastering something. There's a, a cultural mythology around this idea of innate talent. We really love the idea of the natural, and yet, generally, under the surface of people we see as natural talents are thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of practice that they just don't do in public. So we don't get to see that, and so that helps to feed that mythology. That gives us an excuse to not do things that seem a bit scary. I remember my very first Halloween costume was Zorro. I would dance around in the backyard with this costume on, making up my own sword fighting moves, and so it was something that I was really attracted to right away. A lot of these kind of classic swashbuckling sort of figures were really neat and interesting to me as a kid. Just kind of stuck with me. When I was a teenager, I just remember having my first sparring experience. I remember getting hit a whole bunch and being like, I'm not good at this, but it doesn't matter. I'm really enjoying it. I just couldn't get enough of it. I think what I've really discovered through my own experience, but also as a teacher, by allowing yourself to do things that feel awkward and fail at them and developing that resilience to just keep going, anyone can develop the capacity to become an expert or a master. I want to open up swordplay and martial arts to even more people. The motto of the school is Arte Ardore Honore. That means uh, skill, passion, and honor. And that's something that uh, represents modern virtues we want to instill in our practice. There's all sorts of different people are here. They are interested in history, connecting with the feeling of being a warrior, or connecting with this sort of epic quality. There's lots of people who are excited in the same way I am. I feel a responsibility to keep making this something that people can do and that they can be inspired by like I was.